Well, now don't worry about this, what you're seeing on your screen. This snow is from Aberdeen this past winter. And although no one wants to talk about the white stuff in the middle of July, that is exactly what city councilors had to do this week. The leaders updating its ordinance on snow removal after a record setting and a budget breaking winter. Sarah Parkin has that story from the Aberdeen newsroom. Today, the weather in Aberdeen is sunny and warm, which makes it hard to remember that just over three months ago, there was snow on the ground. And even before we head into the next winter, the city of Aberdeen has already used up its snow removal budget for 2023. Aberdeen residents and meteorologists can all agree there was a lot of snow this past winter. So the 2022 to 23 season ended up with 74.2 inches of snow, which ranks ninth place all time for the most snowfall in a season in Aberdeen. The city budgeted over $1.1 million for snow removal this year, but after that record snowfall, those funds are essentially used up, and the city already knows it will have to dip into reserve funds to make it to 2024. It's normal to, to have some supplement at the end of the year. It's, it is a little abnormal to know it in July that you're going to have a supplement already. And the past winter caused tempers to flare among residents. So the city council updated its ordinances this week to put stricter regulations in place prohibiting residents from hindering snow removal. And everybody gets short tempered and we were getting just tons of calls from neighbors complaining about their neighbors pushing snow in places they didn't like. And then in particular, our crews started to notice that folks were trying to block them from their duties. A few cases really accelerated to, to where law enforcement had to be involved. While more snow is likely to fall before the end of the year, current conditions show that the next winter could be a bit warmer. There is an El Nino advisory that's in effect. You know, El Nino is just the warming of the ocean sea surface temperatures in the uh, equator in the Pacific Ocean. And so what that does for us is translates to a typically warmer than normal winter. It's not a guarantee, but it's, it's something that has been observed in the past. The city of Aberdeen will have to wait until the end of this year to know just how much they'll need to request in supplemental funds for snow removal. In Aberdeen, Sarah Parkin, Dakota News Now.